I actually have four of my own Gen Z um, children and, and, and I actually am astounded by the clarity of their thinking and what they understand as leadership. What yeah. is very different though is there is this adoption more of a servant leadership style right. where they, they, they do think of the community. There's a, a lot less focus on the individual. So individualism is almost seen as a negative and, yeah. and the strength of the collective is much more powerful. There is a real-time view of the world as it unfolds today through social media and, and media, media channels online. And so the understanding of what good and bad leadership looks like is much more front of mind. And, yes. and you can see it. And when, when it plays out, sort of, sort of traditional, even charismatic type leadership, if it plays out looking like it's for the, the benefits of a few, I think Generation Z is saying, for what purpose? Like, right. what, what is that? What, why would you do that? You know, if you're going to put the effort and become a great leader, do it for the benefit of many. And I absolutely love this about this generation. And I think that the generation that will follow will be even more that way inclined because the, the challenges we have ahead of us are probably more complex.